Hello, I'm Alessandra Young reporting for the News Feed. This is your feed update for Monday, September 16th. The U.S. Health and Human Services Secretary is urging Tanzanian authorities to show transparency in the case of a patient who recently died after suffering Ebola-like symptoms. Alex Azar, who spoke in Uganda on Monday, told reporters that he and others are very concerned about the lack of transparency. Azar urged Tanzania to share laboratory results regarding the case. He said efforts are underway to secure Tanzania's compliance with international health regulations and its obligations to the World Health Organization to protect Tanzanians as well as people in the region. Tanzania's government says there is no confirmed case of Ebola there. The state of New Mexico doesn't feel like Trump country. The president's first campaign lost the state by eight percentage points back in 2016. Last year, Republicans lost a House seat and the governorship. But the Trump campaign puts New Mexico on the short list of states Trump hopes to flip in 2020. A political science professor at the University of New Mexico, Lana Atkinson, doesn't see Trump going far politically in the state with the highest concentration of Latinos in the U.S. Trump will arrive in the midst of oil production boom that has boosted employment and spurred a state government spending spree. U.S. health officials say there were no new measles cases reported last week, a sign that the nation's worst epidemic of the disease in 27 years could be in its final stages. The current epidemic emerged about a year ago. It started with travelers who had become infected overseas but spread quickly among unvaccinated people in the United States. In the spring, approximately 70 new cases were being reported each week. But new cases tailed off in the summer. So far this year, 1,241 cases have been confirmed. And that is your feed update for this Monday, September 16th. As always, stay connected with us on Twitter and Facebook for more news and information. I'm Alessandra Young, and thanks for watching.